Hello, friends. Cowboy Dan here. I know I don't look like myself. I got my shorts on, my t-shirt, because we got a little sunshine finally here in Duwa Diddy. It's been a long, cold winter. But guess what? Today, we're going to do a little gardening. Yes. Uh, now, here on the farm, we've cut some wood. It's a big old hickory tree. We cut it, and we took it, and we split it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this split wood, hickory, and we're going to use it to build a raised bed vegetable garden. Hey, would you like to help me? You would? Okay. At the count of three, give me a big old yeehaw. One, two, three, yeehaw. Let's go. Okay, friends, I've gotten a start here, and I wanted to show you. I want to show you that you can take something like just old firewood. It costs nothing, and you can build a vegetable raised garden. So that's what we're going to do. Now, first of all, where do you want to put your garden? Well, you want to make sure your garden runs north to south. Now the sun comes up in the east and it sets in the west. And you want to make sure that your garden gets at least six hours of good, fresh sunshine. I wanted you to see something. Oh, first of all, my skinny whites. Woohoo! <laughs> and they are skinny and white. But I want you to see the garden. See, I've already got a start. I put some old cardboard down. Look here. Just busted up cardboard boxes and put that down as my base. And now, look what I put there. I got an old black plastic trash bag and put this down. Now, why do we want to do this? I'll tell you why. Because weeds are not your friend. You want to keep them from raising their little ugly heads. And so we're keeping this down on the bottom where it won't get any weeds. Now, I'm going to take another trash bag and show you how I did it. It's as easy as pie. Like there. I'm going to push this over a little bit. Take that there. Come over here. Scoot that up. And there you have it. I'm going to put one more sack right there. Okay. See what I've done? I've taken this old firewood. We cut it for firewood. We split it. This is hickory. It's all gnarly. You can see on some of these pieces that it's real gnarly. But I've just taken it and instead of using it for firewood and stacking it over there for firewood, I'm stacking it here to make my raised bed gardens. Now I just took one layer. I've just got it in one layer. I can go ahead and put my soil in there right now if I wanted to. But I think I'll raise it one more or maybe two more tiers. I finished. <laughs> well, at least I stacked it. Now, you have to admit it looks a little rough, but isn't that cool? And it was easy. Now you can see a little sweat on my shirt, but that's just a little bit hot. A little hotter out here than the sun. But that's what you want. You want to get out and have a little exercise, have some fun, and work a little bit. So there's my raised bed garden. Got the cardboard, got the plastic, and then I stacked it up. I, I stacked it three high. I could have gone higher, but I decided just to do that. I want to raise it a little bit, and I'll tell you why too. Because here at Dewa Diddy, we have a we have a little grass called Bermuda. I wonder if you have that where you live. Well, if you don't, you're blessed. But Bermuda is a grass that shoots out rhizomes. And so that, that Bermuda will not grow in here. But it will grow out here and go in the cracks and come over the top. But that's a lot easier to manage that way. Now, I've got some garden soil. Now, i got a pocket knife. Now, uh, friends on the frontier, you got to be very careful when you're cutting things. And you always talk to your mom or your dad before you pull out a pocket knife and use it. But I, I carry one with me all the time. Okay, I'm going to put some soil down here. Well, friends, I spread my soil. Now look at that. That pretty black soil. Now, oh, by the way, now look at my hand. See that black? <laughs> we gardeners wear that as a badge of honor, digging in the dirt. Now, I, I'm planting a spring garden. This is cool season. So I've got two different kinds of seeds here. That I'm going to show you how to grow. The first one is lettuce. Have you ever grown lettuce? Wow, it's a wonderful thing to watch. Now, I know you like lettuce, or I hope you do. It's good for you. But the lettuce, little bitty seed. I'm going to open it up. Come a little closer. I want you to see this seed. See how small it is in my hand. Can you see that, friends? Now that is small. So how do you plant this? Well, let me show you. You're gonna back up just a tad and I'll show you how you'll plant. Now we got a small bed and this is way too much seed for just this bed. <clears throat> but what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just spread it. Just 
throw it out there. In fact, I'm probably going to use most of this bag. Wow, that's a lot of lettuce. Now, friends, let me tell you what you do. You spread this out, and then when it starts to grow, you can just thin it out. Thin out all the ones you, you know, you can take a few of those out. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Put just a tad more in there. Yeah. I'm telling you again, that's way, that's way too much. But you, uh, you can thin it down. Okay. Now, I don't, you don't have to grow or put that seed very far underneath the soil. Just a little bit. I'm just barely covering it. Just barely covering it. Just like that with my hand. Somebody says, what kind of tools, Cowboy Dan, do you need in the garden? You're born with two of them. <laughs> right there. Yes, just use your hands. Digging in the dirt. Just spread it out a little bit. Get it right underneath the soil. Now, you may be asking too, in this bed, that's not very deep soil. You only, you, know, you only need about six inches to grow vegetables for their, their root system to, to uh, thrive. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. So remember, we just planted lettuce down there. It's a cool season. It'll grow. We're in the month of March, and so it'll, it'll grow. It'll be, do good. It won't do well in the hot sun of July, so that's why we're doing it now. This also is a cool season plant. These are sh uh, super sugar snap peas. You know what they are? They're English peas. Woo! Now I want you to look at these. Look at the different size. You can come a little closer and look at these. These seeds. You remember how small the lettuce was? Well, let, this is a lot bigger. And the color of that is means it's treated. It's to help the, the plant grow, uh, to keep it safe from bugs and from other fun fungus. That's why it's treated. Now, with this one, we do want to put it in the ground. One at a time. One at a time, just, just barely in the soil, just a little bit. Doesn't need much. Don't, don't put it too deep. Just a little bit in there. Space them out a little ways. Because I'm in a raised bed, I can plant these closer to each other than, than if you were in a conventional garden. And I'm just, just going down the row here, making my own rows. With that, I'll just do a couple of them. And boy, I want you to know, you think right now that you don't like English peas, you say, yuck. Don't like English peas, yuck. But you taste one out of the garden. Mm -hmm. As my daddy used to say, it's larapin. Now that's our spring garden. Don't, don't forget now, that's a badge of honor, and Cowboy Dan loves you. This is my son, Hud. He was the one behind the camera while we built the raised bed garden. And we're both happy. happy. <laughs> Give it some. <laughs> Woo!